All right, guys, I'm starting on the 535i build. Uh, this is a GetTrag 265. And it came out of a like 150,000 mile car. And I bought all the seals for it. So there's a guy online, if you Google like GetTrag 265 uh, rebuild or like repair, it's like an E9 guy that's swapping a four speed to a five speed. And uh, he shows you kind of how to do it. I've done an output shaft seal on a Getrag uh, 240 or 260 before, but um, they're basically all the same. Right on the back here, let me grab a rag. On the back, there is a 30 millimeter nut, and I found out that you can't use a uh, impact. It's too thick. You need a regular, like, chrome socket i think any cheapy will do it just has to be thin wall and you pop that off and then use a puller you can use like a three prong or two prong or whatever to get that off and uh, behind there's that seal you just got to pry it out really gently without messing up the aluminum um, then when you put it back together this is the uh, let's see that's the input and i think this is the output so after you put this guy on, there's a crush washer that you smash down over the nut. You can kind of see that shape. And that keeps the nut in place, keeps it from coming off. So anyway, there's that. Then the front input shaft seal, that goes basically right here. It's on the inside, but this little divot right here is where the... Uh, is where the seal sits. There's some RTV that goes around all of those bolts on the inside. But basically you just pop those seven bolts off. There's two of them that are longer than the others. And that guy comes out. You flip it over. You can use a puller with the teeth facing out and uh, pull it off of the pull it off of this aluminum little plate that they have and uh, gently tap a new one in. But anyway that's really how easy it is to uh, prep one of these to go back in a car without any leaks. Oh, the last one, I already, I just barely put it in, and it goes up on this selector fork. Uh, it's just a tiny little seal. You can tap it in with like a 15 millimeter socket. So you take the old one out with a, a flat blade screwdriver, be gentle so you don't damage this aluminum or scratch the shift fork. Uh, rod and um, yeah just kind of pry that guy out it kind of sucks but it'll it'll come out and then take the other one slide it over and I just took this 15 millimeter right here trusty craftsman guy and you just tap it in use a rubber mallet really gently until it's flat just like that and it's done so that's it. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated. I had to return the clutch that I bought. I just bought an M5 clutch off Auto Haas AZ, and I got it, and I realized that I biffed, and I didn't get the upgraded pressure plate. I wanted the Saks uh, 765 heavy-duty pressure plate. Uh, that one's good for like 600 Newton meters, or with the organic disc, I think it was like 435 foot-pounds of torque. So. Anyway, I uh, got to get that, and uh, we'll be ready to put this clutch and uh, transmission back in the car.